Welcome to another episode of Fixing Bugs and Stuff. We're going to start looking into building this 1776. So here's the story on this. I sent away for another case before this one. And somehow that case was bored out the wrong size here. So I ended up with this case with the correct size. However, it's not the original case I gave them. So I um, kind of want to check everything, make sure it's good to go. Um, and the first thing I noticed was this. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. That right there, that writing. Um, it won't focus. But it's 50, it's like 0 0.50 M to 0.25 T. And it has like a, I don't know, was that an 8? No, I just think it won't focus. 8 slash 9, 5. So I assume that the 5.0 or 0 0.50 is for the main bearing here that was cut. And I'm assuming that the 0.25 was for the thrust cut in the rear. And then the 8 slash 9, 5 is when it was done. So first thing, we're going to check out what size the bores are here. So whenever they did a line bore, um, I'm not sure what size they did. It didn't come with any paperwork, so I'm not sure. So there is a template that you can use. Let me grab that real quick. These are pretty nice. You can pick up these. Um, they're very helpful in trying to figure out the bores here. So... It's saying that it's a 0.5. So that's what that says. Let's see if it even fits. So what you do is you just stick it in here and see how much play you have. And uh, that's uh, quite, it's, you can see a little bit of light on the one side. So that's too much. Yep, way too much. So we'll go to the next size up, which will be a 1. See if that fits in there. That fits in there pretty snug. I kind of like that. So I assume this is built out to be a one. This is, an, again, this is in millimeters. Not one inch. Don't get that all confused, but this is in millimeters. And this is your stock, if you're curious. It's way too much play in there. It's kind of hard to see with this camera, but it's definitely this one. The one. Okay. All right, so the next step, we're gonna put the two case halves together, then we're gonna take a bore gauge and just check them out, make sure that the machine shop did a good job. So that'll be the next step. Okay, I torqued the case down. Um, I checked the bores, or with the line board actually. So starting with, uh, call it number one here, number two, number three, and then number four. Um, so let's look at the board. I usually write this stuff down, but I have a checklist that I have all that information on. And so if you look at the stock, that's what the stock's supposed to be. And 40 over, that's where it should be. That's uh, board one through three. And then the fourth uh, main board is that one at stock. And it should be that. So those are in uh, Imperials, not in metric. So looking at my checklist, which everybody should have a checklist when they do an engine build. Um, I also have a little bit of reference there of what the bores are, but the first one uh, was dead on, no problem. The second one has uh, two ten thousandths out, and the third one is one ten thousandths out. And the fourth one is about, uh, let's see, four uh, ten thousandths out. So no big deal, still within spec. It's all still in spec, so it's all good. You want to be able to, to crush the bearing when you put these two halves together. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to check the bore up for the pump. Now, the machinist didn't touch this at all. I just want to make sure it's the stock is still good. Uh, there's nothing that should mess this up. It feels pretty smooth. Um, I'm also going to double check the uh, thrust here, the depth of this. Just want to make sure. 
that's correct and make sure it kind of like matches the bearing but I'll talk about that later and then uh, last but not least I think I'm gonna go in here with the bore gauge and just check not just cam plug but check all of the uh, the bearing surfaces are actually yeah, the bearings because I don't have the bearings yet the bearing uh, bores for the cam uh, shaft and then when I split the case open, we'll check some more stuff. So that'll be next. And I, I'm not going to bore you guys with me measuring, measuring over and over. It's, it's just boring. You guys are going to fall asleep on this. So I'll just give you the numbers and just this case that we're building here. on actually the whole engine that we're building. And move on. And oh, one more thing. Here, I'll show you. There's a little bit of corrosion on the bottom here. If you can see it or not. So we're going to address that. Um, it's not a biggie. I've seen them worse. So let's keep that in mind. All right, let's move on to these things. I'll show you the numbers here in one second. Okay, I checked everything. Um, meaning that I checked the uh, oil uh, pump bore here. And that was fine. That's what's in spec. Uh, it's actually maxed out. So it should be okay. And then I checked the cam shaft bores too, uh, from all the way down. Uh, those look good too. They are within spec. And the next thing we'll do is we'll split the case open. There's nothing else to check out here. Oh, there is one more thing. I did check this. Uh, it's like 95 millimeters. Um, and I know this is supposed to be a 90 and a half case. However, don't freak out if this is large because you know that the cylinder, um, the actual sleeve that goes in here has to be a little bigger and then the piston is 90 and a half. So I already test fitted that earlier when I got the case just to be sure it was bored and it's fine. Um, this is your sealing surface here. Uh, it has a little bit of a lip here. A lot of times I will machine this down um, in order to get the right deck height. But uh, in this case, uh, I'm glad it does have a lip because we're using a different kind of crankshaft on this. So I'll show you that later. Um, it's something that CB Performance makes. It's pretty cool. So on to the next thing, splitting the case. Okay, we split the case here. Everything looks pretty good. I already checked the lifter bores already. But if you guys want to be sure, if you don't have a way to measure it, uh, just take a lifter, a new lifter, add some oil to it. Let's see if the oil comes out. Yeah, add a little bit of oil. And then um, put it in each one and turn it around and see how it feels. If there's any movement, uh, you may want to get a, a closer look. There is a limit to these as far as the bore goes, but that feels real good. And I checked them all already. They seem pretty good. Um, if they're really bad, you can have these machined and have a bushing put in but all of these look excellent um, one thing I did discover as we talked about corrosion earlier um, on the bottom this must have been sitting in water at one time I don't know if you can see it there right there I'm talking about right there it's got a little bit of corrosion um, probably seal that up with JB well that's the best way I can do it um, same thing with this it's got corrosion on this side too um, it'll still work even if I didn't put JB Weld on it, but I'd rather have um, a little bit of assurance. So that's the negative thing that I found so far. Um, everything else looks excellent. So at this point, we're going to start fitting up the uh, bearings for the camshaft. And then we'll put the camshaft in and test it out. But I got to build a, I got to build a camshaft first. So, um, uh, I can show you that, but it'll be already built. It's boring. Anyway, just three bolts onto the shaft itself. So, all right, that'll be next. Okay, so we put the cam bearings in. I'm going to oil them a little bit here. Because uh, I'm going to put the cam shaft in. I already built it already. So, to the Christmas tree there. Getting close to Christmas. I'm gonna drop the cam in here, um, see how it fits. Um, 
there should be some kind of in play and there is not any in play here so we're gonna have to take out uh, this double thrust bearing and kind of um, sand it down on each end try to do as evenly as possible uh, the end play should be like 16 thousandths or 50 thousandths uh, talking about end play going back and forth so it should be but right now there is no end play and this doesn't feel like um, it's going in the there very nicely so I'm going to give it some in play I'm going to take off a little bit here and I'll show you guys how I do that so let me get it all set up and I'll show you alright so I took the, the camshaft bearings out of the case uh, as you can see here it has like a little bit of a of a lip that sits right there on both ends and that's where you want to sand on to um, you can actually do it from here if you place it on here as you can see it's um, I can it's tight on there it's hard to get on and that's how it shouldn't be you got to have some kind of in play you don't want it to get hot in here as it starts so what you do is and it's kind of hard to do it uh, one-handed but you take a sandpaper and this is 400 grit and I'll probably follow up with 800 grit and you've got to have a nice flat uh, glass uh, machine steel uh, this is marble it's nice and flat and then you take uh, the bearing and you stick it on here and you go back and forth and then you have to do trial and error you have to go back and forth back and forth as you sand each side of the bearing so that way you get a sixteenth right? I think I believe it's a sixteenth up to a fifty thousandths of an inch that's how much in play they allow which is a significant amount and so um, that's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here and sand this and I'll do it for both sides of the thrust bearing because there's another one and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I fitted the camshaft. As you can see, it has like a sixteenth, um, sixteen thousandths of clearance. It's kind of hard to see, but you definitely hear it go back and forth. And then I added the oil pump just to be sure we can clear this back here sometimes this sticks out a little further so you may have to grind this a little bit but this is a Shadek pump so you see they're pretty good so what you do is you stick it on here um, make sure it's flush up against the case here and a lot of times people put it all together and, and see how well it does but you want to clear those bolts right there uh, make sure they clear so what you do is you since we have play here I'm gonna pull this forward and then I'll spin it, see if it hits it at all. And we're pretty clear. Um, if I get a light in there, you might be able to see it better. Let's see. It's hard to see, but uh, the bolt's there, so it clears. So I don't hear any, I don't hear any knocking, uh, anything tapping. So it seems to be fine. So that all looks good. I'll do the same for the other side of the case here. I'll put in the camshaft and I'll check it the same way and um, go from there. So the next step would be to kind of get this ready. I do have to um, JB weld these corrosion areas here. Um, I definitely want to clean the block or the halves as much as I can. Um, they come from the machinist. I'm sure he doesn't clean them very well either. So, I mean, unless you pay him to do that. But anyway, this is uh, basically prepping to put this together. The next thing we would do is um, get the crankshaft, start putting that together, and then we'll throw it in here and with the bearings and see how it fits, see how it looks. Again, we're all, this is all test fitting, all things that are necessary. Um, all engine builders should be doing this. This is uh, vital to be doing before you do the whole build. You just can't slap it together. It doesn't work that way. The way parts are made today, even parts back in the old days where they were coming from Germany, um, you still had to check them anyway. So this is the beginning of it. There'll be a lot more to come. Got to build the crankshaft. And I'll show you that in the next video. Again, please subscribe, like, and comment. I know this is pretty short, but we're moving on.
Thanks for watching.